There is no overnight success in this business. Um, it was important to do the hard work up front so that we had the technology at the right risk level before we made the commitment to put it out into the field. And that's the, the hard upfront work that we've collectively done with our Air Force partners over the last decade. Adaptive engines you know, really represent the future and important for a number of different reasons. First and foremost, because it provides a significant operational capability to the warfighter. Uh, so as we, as we look to the future uh, for, for combat aircraft, especially with the F-35 and other aircraft, the engine is becoming more and more integrated with the aircraft. So it's really important that we develop this technology to be able to, uh, you know, really kind of start pushing those mission systems to the next level so that we can keep our warfighters safe. Historically, you've had to design fighter engines really to maximize thrust, and fuel burn was the fallout. Now, with the tyranny of distance in some of the theaters that, that we operate in, the warfighter needs to have that ability to, to go far, and then when they're there, to have the thrust when they need to have effective combat performance. The first way we do this is through the adaptive engine. The second is the third stream. All of these new aircraft utilize a lot of mission systems that provide amazing capability to the warfighter. However, they also generate unprecedented amounts of heat that require an improved thermal management system. Our third stream allows the airframer to put more and more of these mission systems and capabilities onto their platforms. The third enabler is the introduction of advanced materials and manufacturing technologies, including ceramic matrix composites and additive manufacturing. Ceramic matrix composites, CMCs, offer hundreds of degrees of increased temperature capability, lighter weight, and significantly improved durability. Additive technology unlocks the capability for engineers to think outside the constraints of traditional manufacturing and design techniques. The adaptive engine, the third stream, and the advanced materials and components all coming together in a single package enable a single engine to be 25% more fuel efficient, provide 10 to 20% more thrust, and over two times the thermal management capacity of conventional architectures. That's great from a propulsion perspective. What does that mean to the warfighter? It means more range, it means better combat effectiveness, and it really makes sure you know, that our men and women in the Air Forces have the best equipment when they go out there. It makes for a much more capable and effective platform. Sometimes you have to step back and see how far you've come because you know, we're doing innovation, we're solving technical problems. There's nothing easy about designing a, a fighter engine. There's nothing easy about designing a fighter engine with an architecture and a technology set that's never been done before. 